What is crack -lack? my gamers? Welcome to part two of the new Cuphead series, and this, and today, we're working on shooting. So, instead of using any weapons, I'm going to use a fireball. My penguin will be shooting a fireball. So, for this, I'm going to angle his arm up. We're going to move. Can I? Give me a minute. Can I move the arm? Nope. I'm going to angle his arm up. No, that kind of looks weird. I'm gonna turn that. Yeah, it's good. And here is how you're going to make your new fireball. Add a new sprite and click paint. Go back to the old one. Select him. The entire thing. Copy and paste it. This way you have a reference. Then you want to go draw whatever you want. In my case, it'll be a fireball. So circle little outline let's make like oh yeah i think that'll look cool like a little red outline then the fills make like an orange like orange deeper then a little couple and make this pointy pointy let me cook chat Okay, and boom, we got a fireball. Not the best fireball I've ever made, but could be better. And just, okay, so we're gonna resize that. We're gonna place that as hand. Then we have to select the entire body, like this, and delete it. What size is this sprite? Since we sized it down, size 50. So we're going to grab this, put that in there. Put that there. Grab that there. Put that there. Run bring it back. Which lets us go over here. Remove the go-to block. We got size 50. And here's where we start the code. So what we want to do is uh, how we're going to make this is that it's going to be creating a clone of itself while it's hidden. So then it can move forward and then delete the clone. So it, it's never as if it never existed, never existed, and this way, spread, you can shoot multiple bullets at the same time, and there isn't, um, and there isn't because there's a sprite limit, so that stops the sprite limit, the clone limit. So how about we get this closer, make it a lot nicer to see. We're gonna set the size to 50, and we want to hide it because we're gonna make it clone. And we want to put this all co code in the bullet. Make sure, and then we want to forever. Let's wait, let's see, one second wait time. And then we're gonna wanna do it like that, create clone of yourself. Then, we're gonna move over here. When I start as a clone, we're going to show. And then what we are going to do is just move 10 steps. So if we go over here, something isn't working. Let's check the code. So when it's clicked, it's not hiding. Oh yeah, and we have to make this, remember this, put this in an if block. Then if, mouse down, full screen, it's stuck over there. So what we're going to do, you're gonna forever go to, then in, we're not gonna use the go to block. Instead, we're going to put, click the go to X, Y, and we're just gonna get these blocks. What this does, we can get the, we can choose our character, the penguin, and we can choose the X position and the Y position. In my his, I don't know if this is fully accurate, but in my history of coding, I feel like that this um, makes it a little le a little less latency when it's moving. And we're gonna always and also put point towards, point no point in direction. Duplicate this, and direction a penguin. So now once we have that, it shoots, but it's not moving. What we have to do, we have to put this in a for. Um, we have to put this in a repeat until. And 
We're gonna repeat until touching the edge, since we do not have a boss for now. That, that'll come soon. Repeat until touching edge, move 10 steps. Test that out. And shoot it, but it's stuck over there. So we add a delete this clone. What this does over here, the reason it's not just deleting the clone is because this always goes first, a repeat until. And yeah, so let's try that out. You can hold it down. And we're just gonna have, add, add a couple of additions like um star rotation shell left right and we're just going to make it i think a little faster i think we can go 0 0.4 that's clean so now we have bullets this was a short video for today if you want the pro if you want i have the project link in the description below but thanks for watching goodbye